sending a welcome email or even a series of email to welcome new members to your online community is an important part of your onboarding system. In this video, you'll see best practices as well as an example implementation of automating this email with your Mighty Network. I'm Marcia Chadley, here to help you be successful with your online community and using the Mighty Networks platform. Sending email to your members is an active outreach. You can think of it like the greeter who's at the front of the store when you come in, especially in a new store, that greeter can help you quickly find what you're looking for, even though there are signs or maybe a map to help you explore the store. Luckily, the process of sending email can be automated for your Mighty Network. Here are two tools that you can use to automate sending email with your Mighty Network, Zapier and ConvertKit. I'll be showing you examples later in this video of using both of these two tools and also talk about a workaround if you're not using Zapier or ConvertKit. To create an effective welcome email, it's important for you to think about your network as a new member would see it, somebody who's brand new to your network. What are they gonna see when they first come in? What does it look like? And what are they trying to do inside your network? You're going to want to craft this email or the series of emails with that in mind and lead with results first. You also want to think about what you know new members are going to need to do, either technically with the My Networks platform or with the material and the organization that you have set up. You know there's some things that people are going to need to know. If you lead with results first and then support those member results with the other things that you know a new member needs to know, those emails that you send out will be much more effective and people will be more interested in doing what you ask them to do. So for example, instead of saying, fill out your profile, think about for when a new member is gonna to come to one of your events, let them know, you know, one of the key things here is we want you to be able to come to our events and learn and do whatever it is you do in your event. And we want you to be able to see that event in your time zone. The way to do that is to go into your profile and make sure you fill out your location. A person is going to be much more interested in going into their profile, filling out their location, and then maybe seeing some other things they want to add in if they know that the reason to do that is so now they can come to your event and get the benefits that they're looking to get. Here's a pro tip for you. I figured out early on that new members would join my network and not remember how to get back in once they've left. So one of the things I often include in a first welcome email is the URL to get back in the network and suggest them to bookmark it. Let's look at the email series that I send to a new member who joins my Mighty Network. The Neighborhood Welcome Sequence here in ConvertKit has five different emails that go out to a new member over 42 days. Here's the first email that gets sent out to a new member. I keep it really short and simple because I want people to read it and be able to act on it really quickly. Here's what it would look like in the phone. I like this feature of ConvertKit. I can take a look and see. They can read this all quickly and easily in one screen. The second email goes out a week after someone's joined my network. You can see I've tried to make this skimmable by using bolding and using bullet points. And I also have just one action step, one thing I'm asking them to do. So it's really simple and easy for them to do it. This third email goes out a week later. The fourth email goes out the next week. They've been in the neighborhood for three weeks already. And now I'm trying to move them from being a new, brand new member to somebody who's had a little more experience and knows some of the shortcuts and maybe the back doors to get around and explore and get more out of the neighborhood. I'm still leading with what will help them get the benefits that they want to receive. And here I've used some of the ConvertKit integration to take people directly to articles in the Mighty Network. The final email in my email series goes out three weeks after the previous one. So now a member has been in the network for six weeks and I wanna reach out and find out what they're doing, how they think it's helping them, 
and ask them to get in touch with me. It's hard to really see the email I'm sending out in a video. So if you would like to receive the emails that I send to my new members, check out the video description and follow the link to subscribe to my email list and have the welcome email series sent to you today to your inbox. The next step after setting up and creating your email to be sent out is to automate the process by telling your email provider who those emails should be sent to, and that's done by tagging them. You can use Zapier to connect Mighty Networks to many different email providers, including this example that uses MailChimp. The Zap trigger you want to use is a Mighty Network member action. You're going to connect your account, and then the trigger is when somebody joins and when they join the network. So there are other member actions. We're going to pick member joined and the network because we're looking at the full network level. You set up the Zapier action with your email tool. In this case with MailChimp, I want to add or update a subscriber. My MailChimp account is connected. To complete the action in MailChimp, I set up which audience I'm using. I choose that I want the subscriber email that's added to come from the email address that I get from the Zapier trigger. In this case, you can choose, do you want to double opt-in or not? Do you want to update existing things? And here is the tag that I'm putting on to somebody in my MailChimp audience when they join the Mighty Network. I'm also bringing in their first name and their last name. One thing to note is that the member action trigger for our Mighty Network will trigger on anybody joining your Mighty Network even if they don't opt in to receive in commercial email. Zapier can also be used to tag when somebody joins a specific space in your Mighty Network. Here's an example of that. It's still the member action trigger and you use member joined. Now you're choosing space instead of network. Then you filter to find the specific space that somebody's joining. It can also be handy to know when somebody leaves the network or leaves a specific space. This app is set up to tag somebody in my convert kit list when they leave a specific space. So I'm using the member action event, member leave as is the action, and a specific space. Again, I'm filtering to exactly match this space ID. And then when that happens, I'm going to tag them in convert kit. The Mighty Networks and ConvertKit integration will sync the membership of your Mighty Network with your ConvertKit subscribers. When someone joins your Mighty Network and you have the ConvertKit integration turned on, they automatically get a tag that has your network name here, the CLC neighborhood, and they also have another tag added to them, Mighty Networks integration. When someone leaves your network, the network tag stays, but the Mighty Networks integration tag is removed. So you can tell when someone came into your email list that has been part of your network and if they still are part of your network. When you're using the ConvertKit integration, you don't have to set up Zapier to tag someone when they join your Mighty Network, but you might want to use it when they join a specific space. One of the things to note is that ConvertKit integration does honor whether or not someone chooses to receive commercial email. If a new member joins and does not choose to receive commercial email, they will not come in to your ConvertKit subscriber list through this integration. Here's the automation that I created in ConvertKit to send out the email that we've already looked at when a new member joins the network. I have the integration turned on, so they're going to get this tag added to them whenever they're tagged with my network name. Then they come into this automation. I've set up a delay of a day. After a day, the email series that we already looked at is sent to them. And after that, they're done. Now I have one other step here. And this event happens when the Mighty Networks integration tag is removed. So if someone joins my network and they leave the network before the end of the email series, which we've looked at before, it takes 42 days, this tag gets removed through the automatic integration of ConvertKit and my network, and they will jump out of the email series, come down to this step, and end the automation. What do you do if you 
don't have the ability to use Zapier or the ConvertKit integration, or maybe don't have an external email tool that you're using. In those cases, there's a simple way that you can email your new members, open the new member list for your network, select the new members so you can sort that list by the people who have joined latest, select the new members you'd like to send an email to, and send them a simple email message through the Mighty Networks platform. Selecting and messaging members this way will send them an email right away there's not a lot of formatting, but you're able to send them information, including links. So I encourage everybody to send a welcome email to the new members of your network. Start simple, just get one set up and automated, and then you can add in more email as you'd like to. If you'd like to see the email that I'm sending my new members, remember you can look in the video description below, find the, the um, link, Sign up for my email list and request that those be sent to your inbox without waiting the delays that I have set up. If you need more help with email automation or other things with your Mighty Network, take a look at other videos in this YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe. I also have a free Mighty Network that models best practices and shares lots of great ideas. The link for that is also in the video description. And I really enjoy working privately to help hosts with their unique situation. I also offer small group support. So reach out if those things would be helpful.